Hey guys, I have to share this experience, this situation with you guys. I know I look different. I tried to try some curly hair and I don't know, that thing, I, I didn't look right. I went back to natural like me, okay? Um, I want to talk to you about what happened to me today. That's why I said stay in the spirit. It's This stuff is real out here dealing with God and nature and all this stuff. I was um I was supposed to have went somewhere today and that's why I said the angels will stop something that's about to happen to you that's going to destroy you or something. You don't know who you're dealing with when you're talking to certain people and you know who that person is that you've been dealing with for years. It could be a family member, a friend, or anything. I was supposed to have went somewhere today. I don't want to go into detail because I don't know if this person is lurking watching my video. But I'm going to tell you guys. I was supposed to have went somewhere today. And it was something I was supposed to do. And I'm thinking it's okay. And I didn't know my guardian angels. Or whatever the case may be that's a higher existence was telling me. No. I didn't hear the word. No. I'm just, you know, going around with the, you know, my day here. An incident happened to me back in 19, I'll say, I'll say 1994. It was a car accident. Another incident happened to me back in 2006. It was a car accident. Another incident happened to me back in, um, I think it was 2000. Uh, oh my God. Um, oh, a year ago. No, two years ago. It was a car accident. And all the car accidents were the same exact way. I was in a standing position. The car was not moving. Today I was supposed to have done something. And I was on my way there, but I stopped at the convenience store. Remember yesterday, the other day, I told you something was stopping me from going to the convenience store. This time I went today and I was in the parking lot. Something said, don't go get this thing here. Because what you're going to get is representing what happened to you those those past three incidents with the accident. It was like connecting the dots to something to turn back into something horrific again. So I didn't think nothing of it. And then I thought about it. I said, oh my God, shut up. I said, shut up. I said, oh my God. So... I got on the phone and I told this person I can't do it. And they start, for some reason, their voice sounded echoey. It was scary. And it was like someone was trying to set me up for something that happened to me a long time ago that didn't. What do you call that when you're trying to get something to happen and it just doesn't play out all the way? This time, if I would have done this, it would have played out. Something connected the dots in a spiritual sense. And I said, get out of here. You mean to tell me? It's almost like this person was setting me up for just, just this person is trying to claw at my life. And something, and I said this, I read myself, I said, something's trying to come after me, but something is protecting me. It's going to keep stopping. The reason why I keep saying something I don't want to put into detail about, you know, the situation, but you guys get what I'm saying. My people, and when I say my people, my spiritual guiders, the ones that God are using to protect me, they stopped it. And when I talked to this person, you know, this person didn't say why. They just kept talking and they sound like an echo. Like they were far away, but they were just on the phone. Anyway, I could have gotten to another accident. And this time it was not going to be good. Because I'm going to tell you this, when I left the store, I went in there. This time I went in there. Remember the other day I told you guys I couldn't go in there? This time I went in there. I think I took the video down. I went in there and I got my food or whatever I need to get. When I was on my way home... Did you know I, I saw a car? Well, I I, well, I can say car, truck, or whatever, because I, you know, you know what it is, car, truck, or whatever. I saw a truck just like mine. And an accident with big dents in it. 
and I rolled past it after I was supposed put the pieces together. That's why I, 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 I did that editorial about when you're in the spirit. When you're in the spirit, when you are aware, when you are a master of your life. The angels can get to you and stop something from happening if someone else wants to see that happen to you. I'm not saying these people have magic. I don't believe in a witchcraft and stuff like that. But, but, you know how God sometimes stops you from doing something? Well, I'm going to say sometimes. It should be all the time. You know, got you where don't do this. Don't go here. It's like like that time I was telling you guys, Um, that was on my own YouTube page. I couldn't find my keys. My son was like, I think around 10 or 11. I was going to pick him up at school at 3.30. He was going on 4 o'clock. I couldn't find my keys. I was going on nervous. I thought he was going to walk home. But he's far away from the house. His school was kind of far. And um, I just hurry, I hurry up and I called his um, one of his classmates and asked, can he walk home with him and stay at his mom, you know, the mom's house. And I pick him up. When I found the keys, the area, I, the intersection I turned, it was a bad, bad accident. That's why I said when you're guided by the spirit, it's going to stall you. It's going to stall you anyway, whether you're in the spirit or not, because you're still God's, you know, God love you unconditionally. And this time it stopped something that was going to happen big. Someone, it's, it's always someone trying to attack you. And you always know who that person is. You want to put it past them because you want to give a person a benefit of the doubt. But you can't keep doing that. You keep dodging bullets from this person and they keep coming at you. And you know who it is. You know who it is. I don't have to tell you who it is. You know who it is. You know that person that does that to you. And I notice something else is going on. You notice how your life is about to transform. You notice all the people who weren't talking to you or, or whatever or something. They start coming back in your life. It's, it's specific people. But some people, they come back in your life for, you know, good reason. If they need to talk to you about something. And then, you know, the, the hawks. I'll call them the hawks. The black hawks. Yeah. They start coming back in your life. How are you doing? It's like, oh my. You start feeling all like. Hey, really, what do you want? You know? Because some people come back in your life or, you know, they need to see you or talk to you. And some people come in your life. Or they see you're not talking. You're probably not on social sites. You're probably on social site but doing something important or, you know, doing take a picture or something. They don't see you on there ramping and raving about your life or anything or you're just quiet. So to them, that means you must be doing good. You know, when you're not on a... I'm not saying... Um, you know, those other social sites when your family and all that looking at you and you're supposed to be you know, whatever, I'm not going to go there. But anyway, they start coming like hawks in your life here. And it's like you're barricaded in a corner somewhere. Like, what the hell? Oh, how you doing? Uh, it's like almost you want to say, what do you want? Oh, nothing. Because you don't normally talk to me. And whoever's watching is not particularly to you. It's just, it could be someone else you don't even know. That's why I'm saying you got to be careful. And then you have the people that you don't hear from anymore. It's a reason why. Not anymore, but just at a short span of time. It's a reason why. They could be either getting themselves together, either getting themselves together for something, or you should be getting yourself together because you're apart from them to get prepared for something new. You've got to pay attention to these these things like this. That movie, I think that movie Matrix was something like that. It was dealing with the mind or the butterfly effect. One of those things. It's like life is like that. You have to catch it. But a lot of us are lucky enough not to have those villains around us. Some of us have those villains around us. And it's because it's people like me. Or if you're like me, you can detect something. You can sense something's wrong. You know who it is. They've probably been around you all your life. Or it could be a new person, you know, and you're trying, you got to protect yourself. Remember I told you about Emma? Some of you, you're not saying, you're not commenting anything, but you know about the movie, the um, the series Once Upon a Time. 
and you have a lot of movies there's always some kind of female or some kind of powerful male that's protecting himself have to keep running and saving people that's how i feel all the time i'm like why am i dealing with people like this what the heck is going on what the heck is going on here and that's how it is that's how it is and it was scary that something told me not to go do that today but it was scary how it told me it like did it like in a quick because i was um, i was on my way i was on my way actually to go to this place and i'm feeling the spirit now i was actually on my way to go to this place because I had my stuff, and I was all ready to pack, and I had all the stuff, and all of a sudden, something, something just told me, something gave me a quick vision of what was going to happen if I did this. And I was like, no, I can't go. They didn't even say why. They didn't even say why. They didn't say anything. That's what I'm saying. Stay in, stay in the spirit. You don't, and when I say stay in this, and see, I'm in the spirit now because I can feel it and I need to go in another place. Stay in spirit. Stay in the spirit. Um, I'm going to try to put this on here. Yeah. Because I'm coming in here. Okay. Just stay in the spirit. That's all you got to do. If you can do that. If you can do that here, it's terrible that I have to go through this. It's terrible I have, hey, take it back. It's terrible I have to go through this. I have to go through this. I'm not going to, it's, I just have to go through this. It doesn't make any sense. I've been like this all my life. I had to protect myself when I was in school too. I had to protect myself when I was in school. Same thing. And some of us are like that. You take care of yourself, okay? Take care of yourself. And when you take care of yourself, and I mean up here, and being aware, the angels are going to take care of you. Because if you're not paying attention, that's when stuff starts happening. I'm trying to find some good lighting. That's when stuff starts happening. When you're not taking care of yourself. You know how some people say, don't go there. And they go, I'm going out with my friends. Oh, they're okay. And then you start getting that feeling. And you're like, no, that's not, that's not me. No, it is something. Listen to it. I'm not telling you guys to freak out every time you go somewhere or hang out with someone. But you know that feeling when it's telling you not to go somewhere. Not to tell this person that. Don't rush to do this. You know that feeling here. Stop trying to control something all the time. When you Stop it. Because a lot of us are not lucky to have a lot of nice things graceful, glorious, honest people around us. And sometimes we're go. Remember I said when I told you guys that sometimes God is meant what was that um, editorial idea when I said God could be preparing you for something. Maybe God is preparing you that you're going to do some kind of leadership work or some kind of being some kind of political thing. Or something you don't know that because I keep I've been fighting like this all my life like dealing with these energies and these vibes it's weird and it's because I'm not around I'm gonna be honest I'm not around my people if you get what I'm saying I'm not around my people and I'm not talking about family I'm talking about my people that are like me that's gonna they know me they know what's right for me they know my beliefs. They understand them. That's when you're with your people. I was looking at, I don't like talking about celebrities too much, but I was looking at, um, what's her name? Tia Myro. Tia Myro, you know, sister, sister. The one that her husband divorced her or something. His name was Corey. Corey Hawk. Corey Herb, Herberts or something. I don't know. 
I was looking at, because I focus on pictures. I can read pictures, too. I was focusing on their pictures when they were together all those years. He wasn't looking happy. She was doing most of the hugging and touching and kissing, you know, and stuff like that. And he was like, hands was always in his pocket. When you see people's hands in their pocket and they're with their lover or wife or not, something's wrong. You're supposed to be holding their hand or some kind of touchy-feely. His hands are all in his pocket like Ben Affleck. Oh, my God. I'm not going to go there with Ben and J-Lo. But anyway, his hands are always in his pocket. That means he's protecting himself. He's not trying to give any affection because they were walking and his hands were in his pocket. Or you see people's hands, they're always holding their cell phone. Like I was looking at J-Lo. I think she was going with that baseball player, Ben. And they were in, um, in Italy, the most romantic place. You know, they were taking a nice romantic picture. You know, she was sitting there like this, and he was on the cell phone. He was mostly on the cell phone during the whole trip. But anyway, I'm not going to go there with that. But Tia Myro and her ex-husband, they got a divorce, I think, a year and a half or two years ago. I was looking at pictures of him on his Instagram. Um, I think it was... Um, yeah, it was this this year. He never looked happy. And what was weird, his fans or some people who were commenting on it was saying, you never looked happier. They would say, you know, saying stuff like, go, brother, or, you know, go, you know, guy, or giving him the fist, like, go, and stuff, and all this. And I'm like, what was really going on in that situation? This guy, I've never seen him look like that. He's smiling, and then I looked at the people he was hanging around. And no offense, I don't know anything about Inglewood, Inglewood, California. That's his people. That's his people. That's where he started his, um, his, uh, because he's from Illinois. He's from Chicago, Illinois. And, um, his, he was, um, I think he was staying in Inglewood. I don't know with who, but that's where he started going to his acting, you know, a little acting, um, doing little acting parts here and there, you know, getting little small time jobs. And that's where he actually, I don't know where he met T, um, what's her name? Tia in California, but he met her. He was at a bus stop. He was at a bus stop and, um, her, she was in a car with her sister. I think Tia and Tamir, I think. And, um, and they said, you need a ride. They were joking and that's how they met. But what I'm saying is the pictures he's taking now, he went back home. I don't know what he's doing now, but they it said August 12th, okay? So, August 12th was a month ago, um, and he went to Second Eagle, and he was hanging out with, um, I forgot that rapper's name that made you, you got what I need, you said you were, friend. I forgot that rapper's name, it was in the early 90s, he was hanging out with him, he was hanging out with mostly the guys that, you know, that's in the, and I don't mean to say this, that's in the hood, Okay? No offense, that's his people. And I'm not talking about his family, but that's who he is. And I guess when he was with her, he couldn't be himself. I don't know what she was... I'm not trying to say anything about people of um, celebrity status, but that that's probably him, but how the way she was living her life was just not him, who he was. You know? I mean, he had a whole family with her. 15, I think they were together for 14, 15 years. My whole point is with your, when you're around your people, you're going to shine. You're going to feel good. You're going to feel, because you're balanced now. You know, you're balanced now. And no offense, if you have a toxic family, that's not your, I'm not saying that's not your people, but you know what I mean. You can't stay around toxic people for long. It's going to drag you down and part, you don't. Know, you don't want to go down, and I don't mean, I mean, just ugh, like that. He was smiling like that. All the comments on all his pictures are based on, wow, we never seen you smile like this before since you got, that's why I said, it doesn't matter what you have. She has a beautiful home, beautiful neighborhood, beautiful kids. She's a beautiful woman, but the love is not there. And it didn't make him want to stay either. They tried to say he was begging her back. I don't know why. What do you need? I'm not going to go there. But what I'm saying is when you're not feeling that, 
I don't care what you got a Mercedes a Benz or uh, Mercedes Benz or Bentley or Jaguar or Porsche or whatever you got big Hummers and I don't know if they still sell Hummers make Hummers you know if the love is not there it's not there this is not And if the angels see that someone's not right for you, they're going to separate from you. But if you keep running after that person, you're going to keep getting that third degree. And I got a wake-up call yesterday. And I should pinch myself because some of it was my fault. I wasn't paying attention. I was too busy in a hurry, dancing, in, not dancing in the car, but singing in a car and not realizing something was feeling funny. Because when I left the house... I ran my horoscope before I left. I said, something's funny going to go on. I forgot all about what I said. I'm not going to think about it the whole day, you know, saying that. But my point is me telling you this. When I come on here, I know you're going <laughs> to say, why she keep saying that? It comes from my heart. It's because I want to tell you and I want to warn you that you got to pay attention to. Pay attention to those vibes, those feelings you get. And all of us know that person in our life that get us like this. We all know who that person is. And sometimes it's someone that's dear to us, but they just have a lot of past baggage that they drag around with us. And sometimes they use manipulation to keep you around or keep talking or keep you doing something here. You're not balanced together. You're not vibing together. And you want to go on with your life here, but this person probably needs you because there's probably no one there for them because of how they act. And it's hard for you to say no, but you got to look at your life here. You got to look at your future here. You keep saying yes to this person, but, and then you go home like this. How many, how, how long are you going to keep doing this? They, they don't care. Because they know, like I keep telling you guys, you're good for it. They're good for it. That's why I come on here and I do things like, I do things like, tell you things like. The reason why I could do that, I got nervous because I'm, I'm timing something. Okay? That's why I come on here and I see, I just got a, a warning for my leg was about, I was about to get Charlie was. Some people still kept sitting there talking and got on the the tv there and you know but what i'm saying is guys be aware of things be aware of what's going on out here in the world too that's what made people pray my aunt does that you know how you sense something like something is right there she just started praying for the family some people oh it's okay it's just part of the weather and they just keep going no it's... i'm serious and it's a lot of stuff going on now here a lot of manipulation going on now now they're starting back up with other stuff on the news. You know how they do certain... I'm not going to do that on my page, but you know how they do certain categories? I'm not going to go there. Everyone's supposed to get nervous and be scared. You can't live your life like... All this hindrance is causing health problems. And I'm sorry, YouTube, I have to say it. I'm not a doctor, but I'm still a person. And I have a body. No one's not trying to play doctor. I mean, I have a stress, tension, fear, anxiety, and exhaustion. All of that can cause health problems. You don't have to be a doctor to know that. You don't have to be a doctor to know that or say that. Because we're people. You guys take care of yourself. I don't care who that person is. Sometimes you got to say no or just a minute. I have to take care of myself first. And these people will literally get an attitude about it. Are you? Are you really? You really get an attitude. Take care of yourself. Because then it's going to be that time when they really need you. And they ran you ragged. And now you can't help them. Take care of yourself. Take care of yourself. I'm doing something right now. And I'm trying. I got it timed. 
and um, it's it's gonna be wow. I have the jacket. I don't know what I'm, I know what I'm. I don't mean to look like this. I'm sorry. I, it just I was busy um cleaning up the bathroom and stuff. I need a housekeeper. I need a housekeeper. But anyway, um, yeah, I'm not cleaning up too much because I can't do too much stuff. But um, but yeah, my son comes over and helps out. So I just don't want that time to go off and watch me what I'm doing over there and stuff gonna get loud but um yeah that's why i came on here to tell you guys be aware be aware be aware be aware the harvest is here it started it's here it's time for change it's time for new year and some people are you apart from or some people are coming back in your life right now some people you're reconciling with like friends lovers something's trying to come to for fusion and then you have your people that you're about to part apart with because you're about to go into a new sector in your life. That's if you're aware of it. That's if you're trying to do it. It's not going to just come to you and you're just sitting there doing foolish things. Because you're not going to know what's in your face that you're supposed to deal with. It's going to happen. God is preparing you for something, either to enter into a new situation or get out of an old situation. And it's going to happen, regardless if you like it or not, because it's too much. You can sit there and deal with it, but then that person is going to leave. And you're going to, oh, what, you're leaving me? What's going on? What did I do to you? That's what's going to happen. No, it's something just meant for that to happen. Stop running after that person. Let them go. I know you want an explanation. You want the clarification of why. What did I do? You knew how this person was when you first met them. Be careful what you wish for. Make sure you are detailed when you are praying to God for something. I'm serious about that. Because you can say, God, could you bless me with a strawberry cake and get the cake and there's some um, uh, a needle in it. God, bless me with this cake. Make sure it's not nothing in it. It's done by a person that was God sent. You know what I'm saying? got to do that. got to do it right. I like doing my blessings with candles and oils. That I've done that for oh almost 20 years. See, oh my eh, it just went off. Okay. Alright, and it didn't make any noise either. Just that kit. Okay, that was close. I thought it was I, what it is I'm on here and I had the timer on. I because normally that thing is loud. But anyway, um Okay. Just what is that? But anyway, I <laughs> said, so what is that? It's a lot of animals out here where I live. I told you I live in the forest. You guys don't believe it. I, t I, I mean, when I was gonna, I was going to go for that walk um, that day and take you guys, I shouldn't have walked in the neighborhood where the houses and stuff are because some people, it's a small town, they come out, what she's doing? So that's why I said, next time I'm just going to go in the forest area. I'm going to go in there. I got lost in the forest. I got lost in the forest. I call it the forest. And it's like a trail and they take the air. Someone made an arrow to where the it leads out to a strip mall, actually. I see. Uh, I saw a deer. It broke in someone's garage. I know you guys probably had deer around, but I got lost in the forest. I had my backpack, and it was like 95 degrees. And I went for a walk. I went across something, and I ended up. All I seen was a big ocean and a bunch of boats, a bunch of boats, sailboats. And I'm like, wait a minute, hold on. Oh my gosh! So what did I just? So all I smelt was fish and boats and ocean water. So I kept walking. So I called my father to come pick me up. You know, my father laughed at me. He said, ha, ha. I said, you know what? That's okay. I'm just going to walk. I tried. I walked. I went. I think I went 
uh, west. I started walking west. It wasn't that I actually did a circle around where I live. I just didn't know how to cut through whatever. I, I took the wrong arrow. And uh, when I was walking, I was so tired and dehydrated. I didn't feel like getting my uh, my drink out, my sports drink out I had. I couldn't get it out because my backpack was kind of heavy. So as I was walking, I started seeing, um, you know, Beavis and Bunny, I remember that. I was looking down. They were restoring the grass, and they were putting the hay down. I actually seen Beavis and Butthead in that hay, and they were, like, going like this. And I was like, because I was dehydrated. I almost passed out, so I called my father again. He said he's going to pick me up. I don't know what happened. And I was like, wait a minute. I know this street. And I looked down there, and that, that's where I live. I said, <laughs> I think it was meant for me to get lost. Because I was, I'm always reserved. So something kind of knocked me out of balance just to see. I have to see how she gets around here. You know, sometimes that happens. But it was a nice walk, a nice journey. And someone was nice enough. I guess I'm not the first person that got lost in that forest. But someone finally put the right arrow to go through either to the strip mall or out this way until the other, you know, area so someone did it finally because i went for another walk at this time i said oh someone put a new arrow there and it took me straight to the strip mall i just it was funny it was funny but i was i was i wasn't scared it wasn't dark but you know what i mean but that wasn't what i was talking about here i just hope you guys um take advantage of this what's going on right now um i think next week Friday, it's going to be a full moon. I know you guys don't, you're not into that, but my family's into that big, especially when we were children. They would tell us to come sit on the porch when the moon was full because they said, you don't know what's going to happen. Because some people come to a full circle with something here. Okay, I'm going to finally do that. So I'm going to do that. And my uh, my great aunt, my mom, dad, all of these tell us to come sit on the porch when the moon was full when it gets dark. I didn't know why. Now I have um, so that's just a big thing in my family. It's a lot of big things in my family. Um, I can't talk about, but it was like, oh, why do we got to sit on the foot? And, um, so, um, you guys just take care of, take care of yourself. And I had to come in here and say, it. I said, I am not going to say anything. And I said, no, I'm going to say it. I said, I got to tell them. But, um, yeah. Um, I appreciate you guys, um, looking at the um i'm gonna take those down the um the shorts um when i did the zodiacs i was rushing doing that you you guys don't know i was actually i was actually cleaning up straightening up something i don't know what i was doing because i looked a mess on that on those videos but i was actually straightening up so i said they're gonna do this quick you know i like doing stuff in an urgent but like i don't know i just like doing this but um you guys are probably like, it's probably how you got lost in that forest. But anyway, um, I just wanted to do that. I'm going to take them down because it was actually for the weekend only. But um, I just got some prepared, too. That's my son right there. What the heck is he talking about? And he did it on my angelic number. There's my angelic number again. You guys pay attention to angelic numbers, too. Okay. And if you don't know what they mean, just look them up. All right. I'm gonna see you guys. You guys have a great night. I'm gonna see you guys um probably tomorrow. I need to get some rest. I'm gonna see you guys probably tomorrow. And um, you guys, thanks for. I really appreciate you guys subscribing to my page, watching my page, viewing it, whatever, liking it. If you don't like it, just watch it. That's nice. I really appreciate it too, very much. So I'm gonna go. And um, I just wanted to share that with you what happened to me today. You guys take care of yourself, okay? Don't sell yourself short here with these people here. People are getting a little lazy here today. Or draggy or something's going on. And don't let them use you. You're not a mule with a bunch of baggage on your back. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? All right? I'm going to go and... Um, I'll finish my stuff here. All right. I see you guys. Bye now. And thanks for watching again. I appreciate you all and bless you all. All right. Bye now.